Uh, uh, hello guys. Uh, in this video, I actually want to create, show you how I create a stylized curly S in a Blender. Yeah, and uh, I've quickly created this uh, model just to illustrate the technique I use. So uh, first off, I start by adding in a something to represent like the base of the head. So I use any object actually. So for this case, I just want to use a sphere, a UV sphere. So I'll scale it down. So what I just want, I just want this to cover the general part of the head. So uh, to do that, I'm just going to sculpt mode and with my move brush, that's in G to put the move brush, I'll just position this. Okay, I'll turn on the X mirror because I want this to be symmetrical and I'll position this to give the shape of the air that I'm going for. Not sure the air I'm going for, just, but just to cover basically like the head area. Yeah, so something like this. And uh, for the curves, I usually use a, I usually use curves. Yeah, so uh, to do that, I'll add in a curve. So for this, I'm deliberating. I think I'll use a, a curve parts for this. Yes. So I'll press this backslash just to bring this in, just to add the other objects. And I'm going to edit mode with the curve. And basically, I just want to create this kind of curly shape. So let me see from one from the front view. Bring this down from the top view. I would move this up just to create like this kind of curve. So from the top, I'll just extrude and yeah, this guy I'm just trying to create like a curly, a curly shape right here. And oh, alternatively, sorry, let me start this again. Let me delete this. Adding a curve and a curve part. Yeah, so from the top view. Seven to go into the top view. Yeah, start shaping this to form like a spiral shape. So move this out. Position this. Move this. Yeah. So after this, I'll just select and extrude, 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 extrude. Yeah. So have something like this shape going. So now with this and uh, proportional edit uh, turned on, I'll select the tip and G to move. Increase the Sorry, one thing I want to do, I want to make sure this connected only is any good. So I'll press G to move and move this up to it on the Z axis. Now select the bottom part so I'll do the same thing, just move it down. So let me see, move this down a bit and something like this. So I think this is okay for one of the curves, for one of the spirals. So uh, to get the profile of the shape, I would use a that is a circle curve, curve as the bevel object. So if you come to this curve part here, you will see this in geometry. Another geometry you come down here to bevel, and I'll select objects, and I'll select this bezier circle as the object. So uh, let me just select this circle and move it out of the way. Yeah. So uh, now basically, what this is doing, this is taking the profile of the circle and using it as the air shape. So now I would try to shape this circle a bit let me move this okay that's a mistake move this on the okay. move this on the y axis internal proportional editing move this on the y axis and move this one down a bit scale it so um yeah i think i'll select this and subdivide it a number of times just to let you bring this Okay, I think let me select this, rotate it by on the Z by one eight. Yeah, so basically now you can see what's going on. If I move any point of this curve, it would influence the shape of this. So I just want to give it this kind of rough uh, shape. Changes to vector, changes to vector, changes to vector, and changes to vector. Yeah, so basically I have this shape for the for one strand of air so i'll select it select the tip or s to scale this down now i'll turn on proportional editing firstly i'll select everything or s and scale it down in bits because i don't want to start uh, see. select the tip or s to make it kind of slimmer like see that along that uh, end do the same thing for the bottom and yeah i think i'm satisfied with this so uh, i'll press m to move and create a new collection i'll call this air 
to uh now i'll just create different variations of this so she beat the duplicate create a bit more just maybe not just not to have exactly the same shape let me move this down over time okay let so this is yes she did to duplicate so let me select this i'll make this quite longer let us control c so save it control c so just to mess with the curves to give them random random shape select everything alt s reduce it a bit scale this down alt s again okay so for this video i'll just stick with this tree so let me minimize this and bring back the rest so i'll just press this button here to disable the collection so now back to this i'll select this image come to the particle settings and click on plus to add a new air particle so i'll change it from emitter to air because here i'm going for air and uh, next i will come under render come under render and the render type it should not render as parts in this case it should render as a collection and i'll use the air collection under this collection instance collection i'll select the air uh, very important okay let me try something I'll select this ctrl a and visual geometric mesh so basically what i did there was just convert the curves into mesh so uh that was by pressing uh, ctrl a and i clicked on visual geometric mesh yes so uh now you can see the air all around the head but currently it's not actually that okay, so something i'll do i'll select this back disable this uh, air settings so uh, now I want the edge to influence this outer part, but it should not influence this inner part. So I would use a vertex group. So I go to the vertex paint mode and with the draw brush, I'll just start painting. So what the what happened here exactly is currently there are no vertex group, but once I click to paint, it will create a new vertex group automatically. And so I'll just paint on the outer parts of the of the air, something like this. Now that that's done, back to object mode. On that, um, I'll enable this back and scroll down to where I have vertex group, and I'll change this density to the group that I just created. Now. Yeah. So now the air is from my side. But now something you notice, it's kind of the rotation and all is kind of similar, like all the air shapes. Uh, emission. Click on uh, advance, and then as you see this rotation option here. So I'll check it just with to uh, switch the rotation and under here I can just say uh, randomize the rotation. Okay, I think firstly I need to set a particular axis. Let me say something like global x, y, or z, either one will work, and then randomize the rotation. Also, this phase too is also to randomize, it's also part of just to randomize the air quite a bit and decrease this a bit too. So uh, looking at this, I think the scale of the air is quite large. So I'll come down here and under here I'll reduce the I'll reduce the scale quite a bit. and maybe yeah, increase the number to like 2000 let me go back to vertex paint mode and that's seven and yeah so basically that's the idea of how i just created the air for the last character uploaded so now that let me just reduce the paint along this area just uh this air is penetrating here would not be less visible Yeah, uh, so there you go. That is basically how I create a create stylized there. So if I want to texture this, actually, I'll just um, go ahead and add colors to add textures to this part. Okay, so let me just go ahead and do that. I need to create a new material. So, uh, control L. So I want all of them to have the same material. Link the material. Set this to black. And maybe down here, I'll set the viewport display also to black. I want 
to render okay let me go to material mode first now the mesh on that so i want to set it to have the same black material let me select the eyebrows and the eyelashes so that's the eyelashes and the eyebrow select this ctrl l link material so uh, basically that's all. So I'll go ahead and set up the material of the character itself and give this a render. 